What's up fam? So this is not going to be a standard video. To begin with, we're in the drone right now. Yep. This is a drone. It's not a camera on a tripod. No, this is the drone. And this is not going to be our standard publishing tutorial that we've been pumping out recently. Uh, yeah, let's send that up. Show that it's a drone. Yeah. It's gonna be loud for a moment. Be ready. And here we go. Okay. Alright, let's keep it going. Nice. Welcome to this video. Yeah. So First of all, this video is clearly very different than anything we've been making recently. The reason why is because, so literally today we sat down, like let's do a filming session. We're literally like, what should we make a video about? What yeah. video should we make? So normally, like previously we've had literally 10 videos filmed ready to upload. Like we have so many ideas, but we're just like, what should we make a video about? We've made all the publishing tutorials under the sun. Basically. Basically, and that's kind of what I want to ask, like, what kind of videos do you guys want from us to help you guys the most? That also makes me wonder, like, if it if it's a publishing, tor publishing tutorial that you want or more of those, because that's what some people, or quite a lot of people actually do ask for. I just wonder, like, what, what purpose does that serve? Why? Why? Why do you need more publishing tutorials? Is that what's going to make the difference? Can I say and, why? Yeah. I, I think it's so that you can procrastinate further with with actually taking action and building a publishing business. You're gonna wait for that magical free publishing tutorial. Oh, now I have all the tools I need to get started. Now I can take action. But let me tell you, that video is never gonna come for yeah. you. The truth is you have all the videos you need, whether you have a course or you have just YouTube. YouTube has all the videos you need. So it's getting to the point where like, it's pointless for us to make publishing tutorials because you have everything you need. That doesn't actually help people, okay? so. That brings the question like, then why do you watch YouTube videos? So, and what's the purpose of like our videos? If you're watching them for inspiration or motivation, then I get it. That's value. All right, Dane, so are we on the villa right now? The video, okay. Oh yeah, I can see the screen. Okay, see, that's where we've been living for the past seven months here in Bali since November, it's November 3rd, I think it was. Uh, and the reason I say that is because we leave Bali in a week. Yep. Today is, June 5th, we leave on June 13th. That's seven months in this villa, and that basically wraps up the Bali chapter. Yeah, we're really moving on to the next chapter. Yeah, no, no more life. No more Bali then. Not for the next while, at least. So that's also a little bit what we want to talk about in this video. This is not a publishing tutorial. We're kind of just going to talk about life. It'll be a bit about us, what we're doing, our plans, our businesses. So if you want to listen and learn about that, keep watching. If you want to learn about publishing, X out, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, let should we go into a camera that's actually looking at us now? Yeah. We let, let's do that, and then we can talk about what happens after June 13th. All right. Let's go. All right. So we just landed the drone. We're sitting here at the pool now in our villa in Bali, and we only have a week left here before well. we leave on June 13th. So quickly, where we'll be going? We're gonna go to Berlin for a week, but then where we're really going after that is Pula, Croatia, for a month. We're gonna be attending this month-long event, this Mind Valley event. It's called Mind Valley Campus or Mind Valley University. Just so you guys know. Is it like going to be like going to school again? No, it's not. I uh, it not, better not I be. hated school. Because school, school and jobs are the two things I despise more yeah. than anything. Never so, mind that. Yeah. But this is it's like a self-development, a 30-day self-development event. Honestly, we, we don't know what we're getting ourselves into. No. But we're trying it because that's what life's all about. Yeah. Getting into shit like that. Yeah. But what we want to say is, naturally, with a week left here in Bali, you know, you just kind of reflect on this past, you know, the past chapter, past seven months in Bali. Mm -hmm. And also, funny enough, the guy behind the camera, Dane, he was just uh, scrolling through our Instagram the other day looking for like some sick thumbnail content. And then our mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. Instagram post ever on our Instagram account, uh, follow us, Mickelson Twins, yeah. was from exactly today. 12 months ago. It's, exactly. just, it's just really funny looking at it. It yeah. says June 5th, 2018. Here's what the post says. Today is June 5th, 2018. Gonna be fun to look back at this and see how far we've come. And now we're exactly one year later. Yeah. Coincidentally, right. seeing it and looking yeah. at it. So that also just made me think like, yeah. What, what has happened in the past year? We had a few YouTube videos out. Uh, I just over. I was just in the in the process of overcoming the fear of speaking on camera. Yeah, really, a lot can happen in a year. We've said that a lot of times before, and since just here in Bali, we've shot. I was counting before seventy five videos at this place, which fucking flew by. Yeah, it, it's crazy when you look back over the past year and just think about all the things that has, that have happened. It seems like it's not that long. We look back just one year, like. 
holy shit the amount of things that happened. Filmed 150 right? YouTube videos. And Yeah, and that's at least how we feel. But there's also, on the contrary, feel the complete opposite way that if you're sitting doing the exact same thing you've always been doing, not challenging yourself, not trying new things, not getting outside your comfort zone, and having new experiences, you could sit back and look at the past year and think, I nothing happened. It can I'm go, living the exact same life yeah. I was one year ago. Go a whole year, nothing changed. Yeah. Nothing changed. While for us, everything changed. Mm -hmm. And that's because I th the big difference is actually fucking doing something. Yeah. Just taking action while other people, they procrastinate. They just sit, they, they wait around for something. They wait for, once this happens, I will finally actually take action and make a difference in my life and actually get what I want. Yeah. I, think, I think it's good for everyone to just sit for a moment and just reflect on the last year and just kind of analyze what it's looked like. Has, okay. Does it look like what you've wanted to? Have you made the progress you wanted to? Uh -huh. If not, why? And it's probably because you're making the same old excuses over yeah. and over and yeah. over. Yeah. And unless you do something that's really fucking uncomfortable, then it's just gonna stay the same. Yeah, it's just gonna continue staying that yeah. way for the next. Let's 10 get years. a comments section challenge where you drop a comment, somehow figure out something from June fifth or June of that week last year, and see what the post was, and figure out where you were exactly a year ago and like what's changed. Yeah. If you're if you look back and you're like literally nothing's changed, you're in deep trouble if you don't change now because mm -hmm. it's just gonna be the same thing and then you're just gonna die like fucking every other person mm -hmm. but if you look back you're like wow i haven't far keep doing your thing and then over time you will eventually be where you want to be i know mm -hmm. we will so that was looking looking into the past a little bit looking into the future currently like our business plans and whatnot so we've been making oh my god just the aia 2.0 for the last six months like an entire stay here in bali has just been making this fucking course Whew, it's getting really fucking tired we're it. so close yeah we're so so close like what life is gonna be like after creating it like you almost don't know i don't remember what it was like before when you had free time huh? yeah when you when you had free time so after that it's just gonna be focusing on this course because we know what we've created here is going to be something massive for the entire publishing online business community something that like we cannot uh, step away from or or ignore these past six months also because the course was everything we have not published at all So we want to get back into publishing so which brings up another topic that we could quickly acknowledge some people uh, Leave comments or asking us about like has anything happened to your guys publishing accounts because some people uh, I don't know some people know or whatever so we did run into some issues with our publishing account What month was it? It was like two months ago. So two months ago. Yeah, uh, and it was related to people have been following for a while. No, we made this road to 10k account. It was a joint publishing account that me and Rassus were going to work on together to kind of show that you could start from zero and build like a brand new publishing business with nothing other than I mean we had we had money on our side to invest, but you could take it from nothing to like a lot of publishing income very quickly. So what everyone's always thought is that you could have another publishing account, multiple accounts, if it's under this separate business entity, which is what we had. So we're like, yeah, we just made this joint account for the sake of showing people and then having a new publishing account, good to diversify, things like that. In the end, turns out it, it turns out that Amazon just doesn't give a shit about the legality of things and like oh separate business entity yeah, different In tax IDs means different people means yeah. accounts from different entities yeah right? so you can explain that to them but in the end it's just like yeah okay cool story bro but you're operating multiple accounts so yeah. get the fuck off my website yeah so that's basically how it is with Amazon so anyone who does have multiple accounts know that like you're at very high risk. Yeah, you right are. Now. Like you could lose that any moment because we did have our accounts for a long time, and like nine months. Yeah, I like, I was never expecting anything. Then we got the KDP termination email uh -huh. for the multiple accounts, and like yeah, I thought like it is okay. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. They're making a mistake. We didn't do anything wrong. We're like all right, let's so, call and figure it out and I actually, explain it. Yeah, I actually contacted a lawyer who <laughs> specializes in like Amazon cases, uh -huh. and I told him the situation, and he was like. Oh, so did you have all the accounts? Like, well, yeah, yeah but same. I started over an LLC. He's like, oh, well, you guys, no, you, I can't help you guys. Yeah. You guys don't have a case. You guys are in the wrong. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. there's nothing. You, like, really, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. Like, oh no, you're not allowed to do that. That's their, that's totally fair that they yeah. terminate your account. Yeah. Like, oh, so in the end, Damn, it, I guess so. You really yeah. can't have multiple accounts. This is what people really need to understand. So I'm the type of person I take responsibility for fucking everything. I realize, 
shit. You're right. I'm not gonna cry like a baby and point fingers at Amazon. Yeah. Most people would. But oh, it's just such fucking bullshit. I think it's a stu- why I think me. It's a stupid rule. Everyone's like, why me? Why I think it's, fucking a, I think it's me? a stupid rule, but yeah. it's a rule that they have and they apply it to everyone. So we right? misunderstood it. Uh, it's Amazon's rules. In the end, people have to understand. It's a privilege to use their platform, not a fucking right. Like, they could terminate you for zero reason. Be like, yeah, just get the fuck out of here. It's yeah. my business. Yeah, they, they, you're the owner. Just get the fuck out. Same with a restaurant. They can have whatever customers. Yeah. They can say no to whoever they want. Yeah. So basically how I see it is that we just took an L for the publishing community about this, like, multiple accounts, LLC, different entities thing. And now, like, we know, learn from us, you know that it's not allowed. I know a lot of other people who are in this situation who think it's okay and they're doing it. Just know that it's probably like a ticking time bomb for you. Yeah, we tested it. So you're welcome. Now you know the answer. You're welcome. You have the you're welcome. Okay. So, and then also with regards to our ACX account, this is actually a pretty funny story. And I have no idea what is going on. Right? So about a month later from the KDP account, I figured, oh, we still have the ACX account. That'll just keep making money. Cool. No big deal. Just cash. And then a month later, we got a termination email from ACX as well with absolutely no explanation, no warning, no anything. Then, of course, I called up and I asked, like, why? Like, why would you terminate our account? Did we do anything uh, we're not allowed to? And then they said, okay, let me look into the case for you. What is the email account associated with your ACX account? Then I said, at gmail.com. And then they said, oh, we have nothing more to tell you guys. And then they hung up on us. And then I tried to call again, and then they hung up on us. I'm just like, what? What? So without any warning or explanation, they don't won't say why. Well, like twenty to thirty times, and every time they figure out, they like, hear our names. It's like, nope, nope, done. So it's some um, so, so weird, weird. But, so weird. So yeah, we were trying to just get that sorted out for like months, but then in the end, we're just like I'm fucking over it. Fuck it, because it, it's not it's not that important. It like genuinely isn't. Losing that changes nothing anywhere in any point of our lives. If it, anything, it, we've turned it into a positive because that's what we do. Uh-huh. Okay. And it, Instead, it's just this gives us opportunity to just focus harder, like laser focus on our course and serving everyone in there instead of our own publishing business. Now, also, the only thing this business was, it was one thing. It was just, it was just cash. So it, it was just money passive machine. cash. It was I, just making money. And in that, the long run, it, this cost us over $100,000 without, in like actually actual passive income. It's one of those situations, we don't need the money at all and we can still publish. We will continue to publish. Oh, that fucking brings me back to the point I was starting with. I was just saying that now that we're done with the course, finally gonna get back into publishing again. Won't be on that account, but we still have means of publishing. Yeah. So we will be getting back into publishing uh, at a lower volume than we have before because our focus is now serving everyone with our publishing community. So to sum that up, basically just explaining if for people who are curious what happened, it changes fucking nothing. We're gonna get back into publishing by our other means. We won't tell you exactly how, because there are, we know there are trolls on the internet who are gonna try and sabotage something. I guess that's just one of the cons of being on the internet, is what it is. Oh well, the pros outweigh the cons, so that's fine. So that basically wraps up everything that we just wanted to quickly discuss in this video, and I also wanna give a quick shout out to our cameraman, Dane, behind the camera right oh, now, yeah, just so you guys can this. see. People need to see this. Look, look at how he's squatting behind the pool. Yeah. And he's, he's also been, been complaining the whole time, but he's been doing a good <laughs> he's job. He's been complaining that's the whole right. time. That's all right. That's so, why we've had quite a few guys, cuts. Guys, the cuts. It hurts. It, the cuts is because of Dane. It really hurts. It's because, like, guys, I can't squat back here. I should have stood up the whole time. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, that's, that's, let's wrap it up. Terrible uh, so I want to say, our focus in the future, 1% doing a little bit of publishing just because I enjoy publishing a little bit. Uh, but 99% of our focus, uh, is really 100%, is just on our course, our students, Doing whatever we can to help you guys basically achieve a life that we have. Yeah. Because it's just, it's really fun. And yeah. I want other people to experience the same thing. Dominate. We out here, dominate. Alright. Magic Emoji? Magic Emoji video. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> alien, a- alien head. Alien head. Yeah. See you guys in the next video.